hey everybody welcome back to my youtube channel i'm gonna say a short prayer before we get into today's video so father in the name of jesus thank you so much for all that you're doing god thank you lord for all of your listeners thank you for everybody that's tuning in thank you lord that they found this channel but it wasn't by accident i pray that i would say something father today that would help them father that would encourage them god speak through me today decrease all of me and increase all of your voice in jesus name amen so I hope y'all are doing great. I'm sitting in the car waiting to get my nails done, well, my feet done rather. And I was like, you know what? Let me let me give the people an encouraging word. So many of you probably already know if you've already been watching this channel that I have a class that's coming up on April the 30th, which is this Sunday. And when I tell y'all it has just been a learning lesson and um I don't know what, how else to describe it, but it's just been a roller coaster. I think that's the best way to describe it. Describe it. So I'm going to just be transparent with y'all because I love to be transparent. But there's a lesson in this for everybody. And God is just so good. So I've been, he's been telling me that he wants me to, you know, open up my mouth and speak and, and witness more. And just to tell everybody about his goodness because he's good. And... Um, I have no issues with that because I love my father and I brag on him all the time. I was already doing it, but it was just confirmation that he wanted me to do more of it. So as I've been doing that, um, I like to teach. I've been teaching. I was an instructor for like two years. So I love to help people. I love to teach people. I was a mentor. I've mentored a couple of different people. And um, God brought me to a place in my life where he increased my income. And so I went from like making 50 something thousand to like hundred over a hundred thousand. So it's just been amazing to watch the growth and the things that he's been doing for me. And so um, I decided to have a class because I felt like he wanted me to because there's a lot of classes that's happening, but there's not a lot of people that partner with God. And so I know that I'm a vessel and I partner with God. So I was like, all right, it's time. It's time for me to show people that you don't need witchcraft. You don't need uh, crystals and sage and all that stuff. All you need is King Jesus. That's it. And you can get everything. Everybody got this new thing where they want to be manifesting this and doing all this stuff. And like people just want to forget God. Like they love him and they love to say that they love him, even on our award shows, but they don't know him. And they don't really trust him. They just say his name, but they don't really want a relationship with him. Where I'm different. I want a relationship with him and I have a relationship with him. And his the relationship that I have with him is more important than anything. So to make a long story short, that's how this all came about. Me even having this channel, me having the podcast, and now me doing classes. So when I first put the class together, um, I started this back in like the, well, it might have been the end of February, beginning of March, talking about it and promoting it. And at first I was going to have it at my salon, but we're fully staffed now. So it's not a lot of room to have the class there. And I didn't want everybody to be cramped up and I wanted it to look nice. And this is something that I want to do quite regularly. So I was like, uh, I asked the owner and she was fine with it. She said, sure. But when she asked me how many people I was going to have, I said, I don't know. I think it's going to be a big, pretty big class. So we decided together that it would be better for me to go ahead and just rent a space. So I found a location, sent the lady the whole money. I didn't even give her a deposit. I just paid for the whole class. The class was, I think to rent it out was like $750. So this is me thinking I'm going to have like a big, huge class. So I pay her and then talk to my sister, let her know, you know, what we're going to be doing, how much we're going to be selling the tickets for. We came up with a number. Excuse me. And so I start promoting, promoting, promoting like crazy. Well, mind you, I don't really have a big audience. So I printed out flyers, took them to a couple of salon suites and hair schools and stuff like that. And... I only sold four tickets. So I was kind of sad about it at first. You know, I was like, wow, you know, because God has been giving me so many promises about like increase coming to my home and 
you know, me just never having to worry about money again and stuff like that. So I'm just like, I'm automatically just thinking I'm on the move. I'm like, oh, I'm good. I'm about to do this. So four tickets. So naturally, what would you do? You'd be like, oh, my goodness, like this is not going to work. But after talking to a really good friend of mine, she brought to my remembrance that I'm not doing this for money. She was like, you never did it for money. You're doing it because you love to teach and you love to help other people. So if you always keep that in the forefront of your mind and you never have to worry about worrying about the money. So and she was like, and you never despise small beginnings because it may be like this the first time. But then the next time it's going to grow and grow and grow. You got to start somewhere. And she was like, I'm proud of you because you got started. So then I was ready. I was like, all right, I like this. So it just changed my whole attitude. So the point of this video is you got to keep people around you that will speak life into you. You got to pe keep people around you that see the good in you and want you to do well and they support you. And you also have to keep in mind why you got started doing something and it's good to have people that can hold you accountable for what you said you want to do. So when I first started talking to this good friend about all this stuff, I was like, I really just want to help people. I don't really care. It's not about the money. So, yeah, basically, that's what happened. Um, but I just thought it was going to be bigger, you know, just from based off of the things that God has been showing me. But what I had to realize is that just because it's not big at this first class doesn't mean that it won't be big the next class. But then are you really doing it for the numbers? Or are you doing it to really change lives? So then I started praying about that. And I was like, okay, God, fix me. Examine my heart. You know, make it so that I'm not trying to be greedy. Or examine my heart to make sure my motives are still right. Because God looks at the heart. Man looks on the outside appearance. But God looks at the heart. And if your heart not right, then that's not good. You have to get your heart posture right. So I'm not too um, prideful to ask God. Am I, do I have wrong motives? And so God was showing me the areas where I had, you know, wrong motives. And he was like, I just want you to focus on what I'm telling you to do. So be obedient in this season, no matter what it looks like. Just keep walking with me, trust in me, and I'm going to guide you where you need to go. So, yeah, so that's what, that's what I wanted to talk about. I just wanted to be transparent about it because a lot of people don't tell you these things. They just make it seem like... They got all these big sold out events and you don't get to see the beginning of it or where it started. So you just constantly thinking that yours is going to be big like theirs. But everybody has to start somewhere and your beginning may be small, but it also could be very big. If God wants to use you in that way, he can do that, too. And so I still love God. I'm still rocking with God. I'm still loving him. I'm still excited that he even gave me all the gifts and talents that I have and that he's even given me um, just a lot of hope and just the platform because it's not about having this big old. Sometimes you want to go to classes that are small and intimate. So I'm just ready to pour out and to give these students that are coming everything that I have and my sister's ready to we're super excited about it um, I went and did some shopping yesterday to like get some gift cards I'm gonna do some giveaways and I'm just excited about it um these four people their lives are going to be changed it's going to be amazing and those that are not there will wish that they had came so I wanted to encourage somebody that just start it, even if it don't seem like it's going to only be just but one person there. Do the class, write the book, write, you know, have the party, whatever. I don't know what it is. Launch the product. I don't know whatever your thing is, but do it. Do it and watch God still blow your mind through the preparation of everything. Y'all go ahead and enjoy the rest of your day. I love y'all so much. Be blessed and we will talk soon. Thank you for watching.